Kate stole all spotlight in white one-shoulder gown at the BAFTAs and dazzles in Diana's earrings. Of all the red carpet appearances celebrities make throughout the year, there's none quite like a Kate Middleton red carpet appearance, because like Valentine's Day, it comes but once a year. Unlike Valentine's Day, it's something everyone can get excited about. The Duchess of Cambridge, who always looks fantastic, could not have looked more stunning when she walked the red carpet in the full-length satin gown that gathered at the waist and was topped off with a white flower trim along the top. The Duchess traditionally turns out for the BAFTAs, the Oscars slash Emmys of Great Britain, and she really kicks it up a notch for this black tie award ceremony. This year the BAFTAs were held on Sunday, February 10, and it's safe to say that Middleton cast off her current title to show up looking like an incredibly regal snow queen. Kate looked radiant in a one-shoulder white dress by Alexander McQueen as she walked the red carpet for the star-studded affair. Accompanying her husband Prince William to the 72nd Annual British Academy of Film and Television Awards in London, Kate opted for a suitably glamorous full-length gown by her wedding dress designer which featured statement shoulder detailing. The bodice featured a delicate pleating effect that swept up into beautifully layered floral embellishments on its single shoulder strap and ended with an ultra-floaty hem that blossomed out like the edges of a flower petal as she walked. This particular gown had cap sleeves, and featured a high neckline. It had also been embellished with beads on the shoulders. And, while there may be a number of differences between Meghan and Kate's gowns, there is a resemblance between the chic ancient Greece-inspired looks. In a touching nod to her late mother-in-law, Kate also wore a pair of Princess Diana's pearl and silver drop earrings. Featuring a diamond-studded clasp and dainty pearl droplets, Princess Diana famously wore the beautiful earrings while accepting the United Cerebral Palsy Foundation's Humanitarian of the Year Award in 1995. She capped off the look with a pair of Princess Diana's sparkly, drop pearl earrings and what looks like a diamond bracelet. The earrings feature a double curve of various cuts of diamonds, with a cluster of marquise cut stones in the center. Middleton also wore a little more eye makeup than she usually does, she went for a shimmering smoky eye with a spring-ready hint of pink between the lid and brow highlight. The look was finished with a rosy pink lip and swipe of blush. The royal wore her brunette locks in a chic knotted updo. Kate wore the perfect Cinderella heels for the ceremony. The silver, Sparkling stilettos with the Jimmy Choo Romy and Viola glitter shoes. The labels Romy 100 delivered with chocolate style, $725. She teamed the look with a white clutch bag. The Duchess also wore the Queen's Diamond Quatrefoil bracelet. The wide diamond bracelet features multiple diamond quatrefoil motifs, the four lobed design popular in architecture, art, heraldry, and elsewhere. Each quatrefoil outline is filled with five individual diamonds. She looked nothing short of magical. As the current president of BAFTA, Prince William is a regular fixture at the ceremony, and will even present the BAFTA fellowship to film editor Thelma Schoonmaker. By wearing a piece of history, Middleton ensured her red carpet look played into royal dress codes, and it was a thoughtful addition at that. But, by the same token, she chose a dress that was defiantly now. It was this combination of past and present that spoke volumes, a refusal to live in the shadows. At last year's ceremony, Kate wore a dark green gown with a black sash. She was, of course, pregnant with Prince Louis at the time of the ceremony, and royal fans were eagerly awaiting the royal baby's birth. Prince Louis was born on April 23, 2018. In support of the hashtag Time's Up movement, the majority of celebrities attending the BAFTA Awards in 2018 stuck to an all-black dress code. However, as a member of the royal family, the Duchess of Cambridge isn't allowed to openly make a political statement. As such, it was thought that Kate's decision to wear a black sash with her dark green dress was her subtle way of supporting with her dark